Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a video that I have been wanting to film for at least two weeks now. <laughs> but I was waiting for every single deck to come in the, from the, in the mail um, before I filmed it. So, as you guys all know, um, or if you don't know, then you will know after this video. <laughs> um, Doreen Virtue pretty much renounced all of tarot all of oracles angels all of the above like all of the metaphysical the new age that she was all about for years and years and years and she renounced it all um when she converted back to the the christian faith so she converted to the christian faith i believe this was in 2017 um, but correct me if I'm wrong, it might be 2018, but I'm pretty sure it was 2017. Um, and since then she has been, she did it some semi slowly. Um, but since then she's absolutely 100% full blown into her Christian faith and has requested that all of her decks be burned, <laughs> that her decks be not sold in stores anymore, this and that. So, as you guys know, in the tarot community, when a deck goes out of print, a deck becomes very expensive and hard to find um, in the online realms. Um, every once in a while, you'll be lucky to find an out of print deck in stores. You'll find it on eBay at a decent price sometimes, or sometimes you just bite the bullet and you purchase the deck at a significant amount of money. Um, I know I've been guilty of that, so because I knew that that was something that was gonna, <laughs> that that was something that was gonna happen with Doreen's decks. Um, I recently went in and bought, I ordered the decks that I had been wanting from hers and, um, and actually I reordered two that I used to own but I had sold back in the day. Um, so the collection that I have of Doreen's is not all of her cards. Um, it's actually just a fraction of what she has but they are the decks that, I know I would love to work with um, that regardless of what she did and what she chose to do with her path, which is her business, um, that I would still use her decks because I really have a soft spot for some of them and then I'm really enjoying some of the other ones that I recently obtained. So this is going to be a video all about me showing you my Doreen Virtue deck collection. Now, as I was saying, when a deck goes out of print, um, they are usually worth a lot of money online if you want to get the original first edition copy of that deck. Now, the thing with Doreen's decks is eventually, and they've already actually started coming out, popping out in the stores, she would do um, like collaboration decks with another person. Um, and her decks are starting to come out again with that collaborated person's name only and not her name. So for, for those of you guys who like to collect decks, that is also maybe, and if you enjoy Doreen at one point in your life, <laughs> that may be one reason why you want to keep her cards because they have her name on it. Um, another reason is because a lot of her decks and they already have been starting to go extinct. Um, they will not be resold in stores with her name on them. Um, a lot of them have gone out of print and they're already popping up on eBay for hundreds of dollars. So because I saw that happen, I wanted to make sure I snagged the ones that I was able to get my hands on at a really cheap price before they became extinct. So all of these decks that I have, um, I have bought either full price or um, like the ones I recently bought, I have bought them literally at half their price, like five, six bucks cheap because they're still cheap online um, and they haven't gone out of print yet. So I was lucky to get that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna start, I'm not really gonna do them in any particular order, but I will go through the ones that I've already owned that I've owned for a long time from hers. So first one is the Past Life Oracle Cards. And I'm sorry that it's backwards, but it is what it is. <laughs> so the Past Life Oracle, this one was actually gifted to me from one of the clients that I used to read for. I haven't read for them in a while though. But um, it's, a, it's one of her collaborative decks 
So the past life oracle, she worked with Brian Weiss. Brian Weiss and Doreen Virtue. It's a deck of past lives. So the backs have a nice little open doorway. And each one gives you a prompt for possible past lives. So this was unrequited love, authority figures, knighthood. It was just basically one of those decks where you could pull a card to kind of give you an intuitive hit for a possible past life. I never really used these cards. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Um, I never really used this, used them because my past life readings, I liked to pull tarot cards for. So it was one of those decks that I actually tried to sell. <laughs> I tried to sell it on, you know, um, one of my like yard sales that I would have online or just, I tried to sell it and no one would buy it. So it wasn't really a favorite. It wasn't really one of her popular ones, but it's still in my collection and now I have it and I'm not going to get rid of it because it has her name on it. Um, next, this was like my first Oracle deck. This one is super sweet to me. Magical mermaids and dolphins Oracle. I'm actually using this deck, um, for my July daily readings that I post on Instagram. This deck was literally my first Oracle deck. <laughs> I bought it because it was mermaids and I love mermaids. So those are the card backs, um, but it has been a forever favorite. It is the most intuitive deck. Sometimes I don't even read like the cheesy little captions at the bottom. Um, usually I just stick with the, with the main keyword at the top, but I really love it because you have these gorgeous mermaids and other sea creatures throughout the deck. That was literally the reason why I bought it because I love, I love, um, mermaids. So this is my favorite. I actually even contemplated buying a second copy because I use this one so much, but no worries. It'll be mine forever. So that's the magical mermaids and dolphins. And it has her name, Doreen Virtue at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Romance angels. Um, this is another one that I've had for years. It was like another one I bought like early on. And so this is the, oops, the card backs. Romantic angels in love. I use this deck. You guys will see this one always pop up in my love readings. It is so good. For as much as like sometimes some of these are like, like engagement. What if the client I'm reading for is single? I tell you, sometimes, even if the card engagement would pop up, I still get intuitive hits with it that make it work for the reading. So I don't know. This has just always been one of those decks that I just can't get away from. I love it so much. Um, so that's my Romance Angels. And like I said, you've probably seen it pop up multiple times um, in my love readings. But if you didn't know, it was a Doreen Virtue deck. And I believe the ones that I just showed you guys are still available for cheap online. Um, but don't, don't take my word for it. Okay, this is Doreen Virtue's Magical Unicorns. Magical Unicorn Oracle. Now, I remember when I bought this deck... I specifically was drawn to it, literally, not because it was Dorian Virtue, but because of the freaking mint box. Isn't that hilarious? Like sometimes I would be that person that would buy a deck of cards, not even knowing what the pictures look like, but because I like the way the outside box looks. Like I'm telling you, I was, I was at a crystal shop. My husband and I were in, I think we were in Santa Monica. <laughs> And I was at a crystal shop and I was just like, ooh, that's a pretty box. Maybe I'll just buy that. And I, I literally, I bought it and I love this deck. So it has a gorgeous little unicorn on the back. And, and also, you guys, a lot of Doreen's decks are all gilded, golds and silvers. That was like another little thing I loved about it. Um, so this is like you have cute little cartoony um, unicorns with a keyword and then like a cheesy prompt at the bottom. I say cheesy prompt because a lot of her decks are like that. They could be really cheesy, 
Um, but I just, I don't know, sometimes they, like this deck would always be one that I would pull if I was doing like a, a real deep reading for a client and I needed to just kind of clear the air a little bit or if I needed to just have a little burst of happiness <laughs> come into the reading, I would pull my unicorns. Like this would be the deck I would do. So I love it. I think it's really gentle. Um, I think it's really intuitive. And I just find it um, just a really good deck to pull alongside mo more of my more like serious emotional readings. Okay, so um, the next one is Crystal Angels. This was one of the newer decks that I had bought um, before I went on my little binge. <laughs> um, this one was a Barnes and Noble purchase. I, when I, when I bought this one, I wasn't too crazy about it. I'll be honest. Um, because I was like, oh, I'm not really into the angel cards, but this box itself, like I said, I purchased this one because it was this minty green. Um, this box is beautiful. Like it has little stars. It's really holographic. The stars are holographic. It's just a gorgeous deck. And then when you open it up, <laughs> the cards themselves, like, freaking beautiful. So they're this gorgeous indigo color. You have this beautiful angel in the middle. Um, but this deck was radiant. Like, the color schemes are so vibrant. The, the imagery of the angels and everything just looks like it was shimmering and gold. Like, shimmering golds and shimmering just like glitter that I actually went through and put glitter on the cards themselves. So that was like a deck mod thing that I did. So you could see the glitter in there. Um, because I just felt like every single time I looked at these images, it needed glitter on it. <laughs> so I went through and I did it myself. Um, so that's why the, if, if you guys could see like the glittery film, that's that's what that is. It's mine. Like I put glitter on it. I don't give a fuck. It's my it's my deck. Um, but I just love these cards. I use them all the time now. Um, <laughs> I really like that. Basically, it's you have this beautiful angel, and then you have the crystal itself, which looks really real, like real lifelike. And then you have you know the cheesy thing at the bottom, but you also have the name of the crystal. god i'm telling you like they're so pretty so if you guys get your hands on the crystal angels there's another copy of the crystal angels where the box is different i don't think the deck is different though but i'm not sure don't quote me on that but i've seen like an older version of this one so this is the more recent one i got it at barnes and noble like probably maybe last year um but it has been a favorite and a lot of people ask me what deck is that that deck is so beautiful and it's like it's a Doreen virtue deck like a lot of people wouldn't think <laughs> wouldn't think much of her decks because you know I'm telling you like her decks could be really cheesy but um they're beautiful some of them are beautiful some of them are cheesy but some of them are beautiful and the next one I'm going to show you is another beautiful one which unfortunately angel answers is out of print officially out of print i think you can find it maybe out of country um but at least in the u.s this baby is out of print and it's already popping up on ebay for over a hundred dollars so i was glad that i had it i think this was also a barnes and noble purchase like a couple years ago um but the same thing the essence of this one and this one is also Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So maybe Radley will come out with another version without Doreen's name on it. And maybe that one won't be super expensive, but the deck with Doreen's name on it is literally over $100. Maybe even more than that. <laughs> but I'm telling you, get your decks now if you want them. So these are the card backs of the Angel Answers. They are gilded in gold. And they're also just, the way these look, are just so beautiful. They don't have a cheesy phrase, like a cheesy paragraph. They just have a word or a phrase there. And I think these are just the most beautiful cards. I love using these in my readings. 
they're just beautiful. <laughs> a lot of white people, yeah. <laughs> a lot of white people in her decks, but you know what? I, I could see past it. I just really like how beautiful it looks and just how it, it reads intuitively. Like I, it, the other stuff doesn't really piss me off as much, although it would be kind of nice to see some Latina, some Latina angels. <laughs> but hey, I still think it's pretty. This is another one I would want to put glitter on, but I'm kind of leaning more towards not because I don't want to fuck it up and then like I can't get another one. So that is Angel Answers. Okay, these next decks, um, I literally purchased them within the last couple weeks. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven of them. Um, now I'll show you the ones that I used to own. So two of them I used to own and I actually reordered them because I sold them. <laughs> so back when I was trying to sell the past live ones, I sold other Doreen Virtue decks that I used to own. I sold her Angel Tarot, which I thought about reordering that one, but I'm kind of like, eh, I didn't really like it anyway. So the Angel Tarot. And I also sold, sold the Butterfly Oracle, which... Eh, and then the flower one, which I actually liked her flower oracle, but it's nothing that I miss. Like, I don't really need it. And then the other two that I sold that I regretted when I saw that her decks were going to become out of print and stuff was Mary, Queen of Angels. So I'm so happy I snagged this one. I paid literally $6 for this one. But it has the gold edging. It has these gorgeous card backs of Mama Mary. You know, little baby Jesus right there. Um, they're really just, they're really not for everybody. <laughs> um, because the, the, the references in them, sometimes if you're not, you know, comfortable with like the Jesus reference and that kind of stuff, you may not be, you know, into this. But I don't mind it. Um, I feel like it's like a gentle mama energy deck. This one is my favorite card, the miracle card. So it's not for everyone, but this was like one of those that I had to have back in my collection. I was like, I was so pissed when I realized how much I missed it. I was just like, I was going through one of those phases where I'm like, uh, Doreen Virtue, I, I outgrew her. I don't need her stuff anymore. And then it's like, yeah, you know what? I actually missed it. Like this was one of those that I missed. So I'm so happy to have this back in my collection. It's not a deck I will pull out for everybody's readings. <laughs> this is more so maybe for my own personal readings. Um, there's good old Jesus right there. Um, but you know, it's not a deck for everybody. And it's, so it's not one that I would pull for everybody because I don't want to like make people uncomfortable or make people be like, mm. but it's, I love it. So Mary, Queen of Angels. And then the other one that I had to get back is the Archangel Oracle. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel from like the very beginning, like 2014, very beginning, um, Archangel Oracle was one that I was always pulling in my readings. This deck is so good. It goes through with all of the archangels. Um, so those are the card backs. I'm like, I get like old feels when I see this deck because literally this was one of the first oracles that I would use <laughs> when I was like really into the angel stuff. Um, I went through like a major angel phase at one point and then I was like, you know what? I'm more of a tarot reader, not an angel card reader. But <laughs> I had to get this deck back because of that. Like I just love the intuitive messages. My husband likes it when I read with him, this one for him. Um, I just think it's a gentle deck. It's just, you, you get some really positive affirmations through it. <laughs> but um, the angel cards aren't for everyone. So I'm happy. I was happy to get this one back. Okay. Now these next ones are decks that I've always been curious about, but I never purchased. Um, and I purchased them anyway because now I'm like, no, I want them. So... The Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards. This deck was always popping up in one of the angel readers that I used to follow on um, Instagram. I'm not Instagram, on YouTube. I don't think I follow her channel that much anymore because I felt like her messages were so repetitive. But she was always pulling from the Healing with the Angels Oracle. <laughs> and I was like, oh, maybe I should, you know, buy that deck and read with it. The only thing that kept me from it, these are the backs. The thing that kept me from buying this deck were the ugly borders. Look at how 
horrifying. Look at how horrifying those borders are, you guys. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was like, uh, it's not really my thing. And then that was like kind of when the angel phase was dying out with me. And I was really like just getting into my tarot readings. So <laughs> really good cards. Like literally like these, her, a lot of Doreen's decks are so intuitive, but the, the borders on this, they're, they're just so ugly. They're so ugly. So um, <laughs> if you can look past that, you can have a really good deck. I mean, look at how gorgeous the picture would have been had it just been that without the border. So <laughs> that's the healing with the angels. Uh, um, another one I got, this is actually just came yesterday. <laughs> the guardian angel tarot. Um, I really like the box. Look at, I don't know if you, it's going to show on camera. But the box has glitter, glitter on it. No, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it. But anyways, it has glitter on it. I don't know. Like I'm telling you, I'm a sucker for really cute boxes. This one is by um, Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Radley Valentine, she actually did a lot of, um, of collaborative decks with. I think her angel tarot also was with him. And I also think the animal tarot that they came out with was also with him but those didn't really in interest me. So the backs, okay, first off, beautiful gold edges. It was a brand new deck. It was literally wrapped in the foil, the paper. Um, so you have these like, these like remind me of grandma, like grandma energy, you know, with the little doilies and stuff, just real vintage grandma-y. <laughs> and then you have, um, I've never worked with this deck, so, but you have like real floral, it's very, feminine very dainty cards you have like this humongous like probably cheesy verbiage there but what are you gonna do <laughs> but just the essence of this deck really reminds me like it would go beautifully with the the victorian flower oracle so i really like that look i think this would be beautiful for like instagram worthy photos um but I got it because I've always been intrigued by it for whatever reason. So why not? Why not? It was at a cheap price. So yeah, that's the Guardian Angel Tarot. And then I like, it's like a peachy box. I'm telling you like, whoa, I'm telling you, I totally like beautiful boxes. Okay. Next is the Indigo Angel. This one I had always seen at Barnes & Noble and I never purchased it. Um, it always piqued my interest, but I just never, I never bought it. Doreen Virtue and Charles Virtue. All of her decks, 44 card deck. Usually most of her Oracle decks are 44 cards because 444 is the angel number. I really like this deck. I've been reading it recently for my re my client readings. I've been really enjoying it. So the card backs are pretty. It has silver edges. And the cards themselves have angels or like men and women angels. Um, and then they have like the phrase at the bottom, which gives you just that intuitive hit for the reading. I just feel like they're really good. I like to pair these with another Oracle deck. And we're good to go. <laughs> Whoa. They're really pretty. Okay. Two more, you guys. Two more. Next, I have the Angel Therapy. I love this deck. Um... I, this was one of the ones that I had to get my hands on before it went extinct. I don't know why I didn't own this deck before. Now, the imagery, eh, it's not my favorite. <laughs> There's the card backs. Um, the imagery is not my favorite, but, and then has gold edges. But I can look past it. What I really like is the intuitive hits that I get from this reading. They're always accurate. And then it also has um, chakra cards. 
So this is the solar plexus chakra. I just think it just goes, like it fits. It goes with the tarot. It goes with any reading anyway, it actually. like I feel like angel therapy is really good for energy readings. Clear yourself. <laughs> I don't know. I just love it. I'm really into this one. Some of the pictures, I'm kind of like, hmm, not really a fan. But I don't know. I can see past it. That's how I was about the Psychic Tarot. I was not into the images. But that deck is like one of my favorites. So sometimes you just have to look past the artwork. Um, okay, and then finally... The Magical Messages from the Fairies Oracle. This was the other deck that I knew I had to get my hands on before it was extinct. It's similar to the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, but it's fairies. And I was never really into fairies, but I knew if I was going to have a fairy deck, it, I wanted it to be this one. So it has the gold edges, beautiful purple backs with that little fairy wand, I guess. <laughs> and then... Um, you have these cute little fairies and you have like the verbiage and you have the cheesy thing at the bottom, but they're just so good. This is a really fun spring deck. I would pull this out for spring readings or like, sp <laughs> that's funny. I just said spring readings and spring. Um, or, you know, just for like some positive affirmations, but I think it's like, it's, it's fun. Um, and who doesn't like fairies, right? I just think it's so cute. So it's just one of those little fun decks, like the fairies, the mermaids, and the unicorns. Those are all fun decks that I would pull out aside from just the basic tarot reading, just to give some added oomph to it. And it comes in this beautiful purple box. So yeah, magical messages from the fairies. So yeah, you guys, that is my Doreen Virtue Deck Collection. I have quite a bit. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 13 Doreen Virtue Decks. Um, I don't think I'm going to be ordering any more of hers. I think I'm pretty happy with what I have. The ones that I have, I know I'll be working with. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I have because, I don't know, it's just fun. Like, I, I do, I do, I did enjoy her stuff. I did enjoy her decks. Um, I know a lot of tarot readers who threw out a lot of her decks or they scratched off her name on the cards and stuff because they, you know, they, you know, we were all pretty shocked with what happened. Um, but if you could see past all of that, you know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a nice thing to remember. Like she was once, you know, a part of this and her decks with her names on it, you're not going to see that anymore. So it's just kind of cool to own that. So I just thought I would do a video on it to show you guys what I have and all of that. So leave comments below. What decks, what Doreen Virtue decks did I not show that you guys own that you love um, and, and all of that? Send me some pictures I want to see. <laughs> Until then, talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.